Welcome everyone to the online Forex trading course provided by QuantForexTrading.com. Today, we will cover a basic trading strategy using the platform. We will learn how to use economic data and machine learning to enhance your Forex trading performance. The course is provided from beginner to advanced levels with contact details given in the description for this video. Please feel free to check out the website QuantForexTrading.com to get some background on this presentation before beginning. The strategy we will be covering in this course can be used by anyone to trade Forex profitably and makes use of the forecast provided by the platform. However, the Quant Forex trading platform can be combined with any existing strategy to help provide a statistical advantage. Together, we will cover entering and exiting from a position on a given currency pair, placing multiple trades on the same currency pair for different time frames, managing risk and position sizing the different economic forecasting models provided by the Quant Forex trading platform, understanding how confidence and model accuracy are used to display forecasts, and finally, we will cover different technical forecasting models provided by the platform. Fundamentally, the Quant Forex trading platform exists to make predictions regarding likely future market movement, given current economic news releases in combination with price action movements. We are essentially going to be using these forecasts provided by the platform to make better risk-adjusted trading decisions that will help our overall profitability as a Forex trader. The Quant Forex trading platform uses large amounts of computing power to train and evaluate new machine learning models daily, providing up-to-date forecasts regarding likely future market movements. All these forecasts are recorded and displayed under each currency pair, which you can view anytime on the website. We will cover all forecast charts in subsequent slides. There are ultimately many trading strategies you can develop in combination with Quant Forex Trading, but today we're going to be covering a basic reversal strategy using the platform. One important aspect of exchange rate movements is that currency pairs tend to trend revert to some extent over different time frames, most of the time. If we're patient and place reasonable stops, we can expect to close a position in profit most of the time and not adversely affect our account balance if we take reasonable levels of risk. Ultimately, what we hope to do as a Forex trader is to increase the percentage of times we close a position in profit before hitting a stop loss by using good technical and economic analysis to improve our odds. So now, we start to get into the basic mechanics of trading. Currency pair exchange rates fluctuate all the time. So how do we know when it's a good time to enter a trade? There are a few basic things we need to consider. Do we place a buy or sell position on a currency pair? Where do we place our stop loss and take profit and how large should our position size be? This course will cover all these three basic decisions we have to make all the time as a trader. Let's first take an example. Let's look at the AUD CAD over the weekly time frame. What we're showing in this table is the historical movements of the currency pair in sorted order, otherwise known as a percentile. So we would say if this week the AUD CAD moved 440 pips compared to historic movements, such a range falls under the 70th percentile range, meaning it's a reasonably large move compared to all previous historic movements. So now, let's consider the movement of the AUD CAD for all time frames. So, this chart is continuously updated on the website. You can see it gives the percentile movements for the AUD CAD over different time frames. Some examples we see, the AUD CAD has moved 10% in the positive direction on the weekly time frame and 49% on the two-month time frame. The numbers you see on the far right and left of the chart are the number of pips that the pair could potentially move against us if we placed a trade in the opposite direction shown. So, you would say if we shorted or sold the AUD CAD over the one week time frame, it could potentially move 138 pips against us 5% of the time and 47 pips against us 50% of the time. These ranges are important because they tell how we should set our stop loss and how we should subsequently size our position. Remember, we ultimately want the stop loss to be reached as infrequently as possible, so it's important to be realistic about how far a currency pair could move against us before we can expect the pair to reverse in our favor. For now, we will ignore if we're going to buy or sell. Instead, we're going to look at the best time frame to trade over. To do this, we typically look for an entry on a time frame that has a large percentile movement against the direction we hope to trade in, as it gives us the best reward to risk profile. Let's say, as a minimum, we will only enter a trade if the percentile movement is greater than 40% against the direction we hope to trade in, often referred to as buy or selling the dip of a general belief trend. Once we've decided to enter a trade, 
we need to decide at what percentile we will place our stop. If we place our stop at the 50 percentile, our stop is more likely to be reached versus the 95th percentile. We also might decide to place our take profit at the 0 percentile, corresponding to a full reversal in the pair at the time frame we're trading. Let's look at an example now. The chart on this page is available for every currency pair on the Quant Forex trading website. It is updated frequently and shows a summary of percentile movements of a particular pair. For the sake of argument, let's say we decide to sell the AUD CAD. We would look for the maximum percentile movement over a given time frame, generally less than a month, given that it's difficult to forecast a currency pair longer than a month out. In this case, we see the AUD CAD has moved to the 87th percentile over the three week time frame. As this is the maximum percentile movement, it represents the best reward risk profile over which to sell this pair. We see to the right three different reward to risk profiles low risk, medium risk, and high risk, with the corresponding stop loss, take profit, and order size displayed. The difference between the risk profiles essentially differ in the range over which the pair is allowed to move before hitting the stop loss. The high risk profile has the tightest stop loss, and the low risk profile has the loosest stop loss. It's important to understand that all the proposed positions provided in the chart have the same maximum loss in terms of dollar value, but different reward to risk profiles. Therefore, we always seek to enter trades with a high percentile movement in an attempt to maximize our reward to risk. For the three-week percentile movement, because it's moved so far, we're left with only a low risk profile, with a take profit of 211 pips, a stop loss of 134 pips, and an order size of 65. The order size is adjusted based upon your account size, which you can set in your My Account profile. One thing to note regarding buying and selling a currency pair, it's generally okay to both buy and sell a position with this strategy. If you're based in the US, you can open two sub accounts, one for buy positions and one for sell positions. Placing a trade in the opposite direction is generally known as a hedging strategy and allows us to change our mind in terms of the fundamental direction we think the market is moving in. Once we place a trade, we tend to leave the trade open until the stop loss or take profit we set are reached. If we change our mind in terms of the direction we think the market is moving in, we simply place a trade in the opposite direction, using the same approach we discussed in the previous slide. The last thing that we want to keep track of is which trades we have entered in, under which time frame, along with the order ID. Such information is often referred to as a trade journal. The idea behind the trade journal is we don't want to enter the trade in the same direction on the same time frame more than once, so as to not overexpose our position on a given currency pair. As you can see, for the GBPCHF, we have entered both a long and short position, alluding to the fact that our opinion as to the fundamental direction of the pair has changed over time. In such cases, when the market is highly volatile, we will profit in both the long and short position. One final note with managing risk using this strategy is that by using the stop loss, take profit and order size provided by the platform, we ensure our profit and loss is evenly distributed over every pair and time frame. The strategy also allows us to use hedging to mitigate the risk of long-term trends against us. This allows us to update our currency pair direction, as our opinion regarding market direction will likely change over time. On any given day, we need to update our portfolio positions. To do this, we can click on the Pairs Summary tab in the My Account page. This lets us view the pairs and time frames with the largest percentile moves. On any given day, we would look to enter into positions for pairs with the largest percentile moves. Before entering the position, we must of course confirm the trade direction provided is in agreement with the forecast provided for that specific pair by clicking on the monthly, weekly, or daily forecast. We must also check we currently do not have any open positions for the same pair, time frame, and trade direction displayed in the list by checking our trade journal. How many trades you enter into is up to you, but as a rule of thumb, think about only entering trades where percentile change is greater than 50%. Now, we move on to the second section of the course, which is understanding fundamental trends in market behavior. Trends are important, as they allow us to bias our trades towards either a buy position or sell position and help our long-term profitability. Future price trends are not always so easy to predict, simply looking at historical price movement charts. If it was easy, every Forex trader would be wealthy, but this is obviously not the case. This is where quant Forex trading can help us by providing a statistical edge in understanding likely market movement over the next month using statistical techniques. 
First, we look at economic forecasting. It's important to note that 80% of courses out there just cover technical analysis, with a large number of Forex traders only using technical analysis. Technical analysis alone is not enough, generally, to turn you into the top 95% of traders. The top 95% of traders also use economic news to inform themselves as to likely long-term market movement, as Forex price movements in particular are highly influenced by economic news data. Quant Forex trading makes predictions using large numbers of machine learning models to inform you as to likely market movement from economic data and technical analysis, giving you a good overview of the market. First, we look at economic forecasting models based on future price trends over different time periods in the future. First, we look at economic forecasting models based on future price trends over different time periods into the future. The Quant Forex trading platform currently maintains four different economic news model types, shown on the chart as M3, M6, M12, M18. Each model type corresponds to a set of machine learning models with different feature sets, allowing economic news data to be modeled in different ways to help diversify the variety of forecasting models available. A separate machine learning model is trained for a given future time frame and specific news release. The aggregation of every prediction is shown to the right in red, generally indicating a sell bias position. Next, we look at a variation in the approach used to predict market movement from economic news. Such models instead look at the likelihood of hitting a given positive or negative price level first. We again adopt a similar training methodology as described previously, creating four different economic news types whose aggregation is shown in red to the right. In this situation, our two economic forecasts agree. What the charts are actually showing is the distribution of predictions made from large numbers of machine learning models trained in different ways, broken down as follows. Before the predictions are displayed on the forecast charts, the models themselves first go through a validation process. The model's performance is first evaluated using unseen training data to establish error of the model. This is then combined with the prediction confidence to generate a ratio of model confidence over model error. Such a ratio ranges between negative 1 and 1, which is the horizontal axis shown on the previous page. Predictions with a value close to 1 represent a strong buy signal, whereas predictions with a value close to negative 1 represent a strong sell signal. By looking at many predictions, we are able to establish sentiment skew to see if economic news is biased towards a sell or buy position. As the Quant Forex trading platform evolves, we endeavor to include additional forecasting models. The forecasting chart shown on this page uses a distribution of economic news to understand market direction and is yet another indicator which can be used to formulate likely market bias. Now, we move on to the third section in this course, which is deriving future market direction from current price action. Human traders generally conduct a similar analysis with technical indicators and trend lines. The Quant Forex trading platform takes this one step further by using machine learning to make predictions regarding likely market movement from many different technical indicators combined in a multitude of machine learning models, which are again shown as forecast charts. Most technical models used by the platform look at a historical 15 to 30 day window. We generally limit the look back window the models use, so the predictions made by the platform best capture current market movements. Such time windows produce a good indication regarding likely market movement over long time frames when combined with economic forecasting and basic injury conditions discussed in the first section of this course. The first technical forecast chart we will look at is a time-based forecast that predicts likely market movement over different future time frames. The forecast spans a period of 1 to 30 days. Again, we train a multitude of different machine learning models and show the distribution of predictions as a forecast chart. In this example, we see the AUD CAD is biased to the sell position. The second technical forecast chart we will look at is a price-based level forecast that predicts the likelihood of hitting a positive or negative price barrier first for different reward to risk ratios. The platform currently trains models for 200 different positive and negative price levels, each of which have four different reward to risk ratios. The last technical forecast chart we will look at is a price level forecast that predicts the likelihood of exceeding a certain positive or negative price barrier at a given future time horizon. The platform currently trains models for 200 different price levels for 30 different future time horizons and displays all the predictions as a forecast chart. Again, in this example, the prediction is biased towards the sell side. 
To establish a general market sentiment in terms of either a buy or sell direction, we look for general consensus. General consensus refers to the case when both the technical forecast charts and economic forecast charts tend to point to either a sell or buy. If the results are mixed, we tend to wait until we have agreement before placing a buy or sell in direction of general consensus. An example for the AUD CAD, we can see the general consensus is a sell position when combining all the forecast charts. If our belief is the market is a sell, we would look for positive price movements, as explained in the first section, to trade against as part of a basic reversal strategy. The results for the CHF yen, however, are mixed, so we would wait until consensus is reached before placing a trade on the CHF yen. We can of course change the aggregation time frame if we wish to investigate a forecast over weekly or monthly time frames. In summary, Quant Forex trading helps you to enter and exit trades with different risk profiles over different time frames. Quant Forex trading provides economic forecasting using a large number of model predictions. Quant Forex trading provides technical forecasting using a large number of model predictions. Using the Quant Forex trading platform, you can expect an improvement in your risk adjusted return and can be a great addition to help improve the effectiveness of any existing strategy. Get in touch if you have any further questions regarding the platform or would like a one-to-one -one tutorial session with one of our trading professionals. Please reach out on our website or at quantforextrading at gmail.com for further follow-up.